my time at the ACR has just been so personally valuable to me, working with so many incredible people on um, issues that are really important to the field. No one's going to forget 2020 and the impact that Ellen made on the organization. She had a watershed year for the organization and for all of us in medicine. In spite of the fact that it was obviously very difficult for her and she got more than what she signed up for, I don't think we could have asked for somebody better at the helm. Ellen is one of these women who is, is quietly powerful. She listens to everyone in the room. She elicits the opinions of her peers and colleagues and she synthesizes what they say and then she takes action. So she's not afraid to make difficult decisions. She's not afraid to implement plans. You always get a sense that Ellen is in control of what's happening. And I think for all of us, that was very reassuring. There was always a plan. She has this aura and people around her just display trust and people feel comfortable. And she doesn't talk a lot. I think you read her more from her movements. And whenever she says something, people will feel that they're empowered. I remember talking to Ellen when she was facing the presidency, and she was telling me about her agenda, what she wanted to accomplish. And I said, you know, Ellen, that's great, but you may find external events actually may guide you in what actually happens with your position at the college. Obviously, neither of us thought about the COVID crisis. Ellen has spent many more hours working on problems that no president of the ACR has, has faced before. And she has taken on not only COVID-19, but issues that arose regarding diversity and inclusion in, in our society, as well as, as our college. And she's handled these challenges really with ingenuity and with, with integrity and with grace. One of the ways that Ellen has led in addressing this is the first was the ACR put out a statement naming the injustice in our society, naming structural racism, committing the ACR to inclusion and diversity, and forming a task force to think about how we as an organization can do better. Ellen recognized the lack of significant efforts in including minorities in, in our ranks and she has made the task force and has intensified the efforts to make sure that uh, at some point we get where we need to be. Ellen, you are a superb physician, scientist, but more than that, you're a friend and a, a leader who has a servant mentality and has uh, put great heart and passion into the job for the past year. I thank you so much for your leadership of the American College of Rheumatology. Congratulations on an incredible year, unlike any other we have ever seen in our lifetimes and certainly in the history of the ACR. You're a superstar, you always have been, and you prove that once again in your role as president of the ACR. And the American College of Rheumatology will be forever indebted to you, and you will go down in the history of the organization as a a truly remarkable leader during an absolutely incredible time. Ellen, I'd like to thank you for your leadership, for your poise, for your confidence, for your humility, and for the way that you've been an inspiration to all of us during this very challenging time. Ellen, you're extraordinary. It's been an unbelievable privilege and wonderful experience in spite of the circumstances to be a part of your team and to watch you move this group forward. I wish you nothing but the best and my sincerest congratulations for an extraordinary job under the most incredible of circumstances. Ellen, congratulations on completing the most successful presidency of the American College of Rheumatology. You're an amazing person, an amazing friend, and the most elegant leader of our college. Congratulations on a remarkable year, not just as chairman of our division, but most importantly as president of the ACR. Your contributions to the college will never be forgotten. I know it was an incredibly difficult year for you, 
overall most appreciative of what you provided to us in your leadership. I just want to thank the ACR for just a wonderful 20-year experience and it's just been such an honor to serve as the president. It's been an incredible year and I really value everything that's happened at the ACR and I'm, I'm just incredibly grateful to have been a part of it.